What it do, Kelly Gang? And as you can tell from the title, we cannot go on without talking about Krishan and everything she's going through, all right? Um, everyone knows word on the curb, all right? Allegedly, uh, someone came and attacked Blueface's dad in front of the house when her and the baby were at home. It was apparently four or five in the morning. But yeah, so there's so many theories going on with this. Let me know what you guys think. Sound off in the comments. All right, let's get into it. Here we go. Like, was really out front. Yeah. You and you the been in them, bro. For you to say they didn't come? Right. You, weird. For you to be like, oh. Just when we thought Krishan was done with her antics and finally doing the right thing after almost losing custody of her son, she just got exposed for orchestrating a robbery on herself for clout. As if. Okay, wait. Like, pause. Wait, so allegedly. Is a lie already? Allegedly a lie already? Y'all, uh, I can't, I can't, I can't. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not enough, Blueface's dad, Jonathan, was also involved in this whole BS. They were exposed by Blueface's manager, Wag 100, who called them out for making things up and even claimed he had receipts to prove they was lying. Now it's unclear Ooh. why exactly Krishan decided to do this, but it's definitely not a good look for her, considering the fact that she's already been caught up in several legal issues. She even went as far as to accuse Wack of trying to unalive her because he's jealous of her and Blue being back together. Hurt me and my son or his pops out of spite because he mad and jealous that me and we're in a house. So say if he not even uh, associated with the situation, right? This weird big bang happy is happening to us, so... Okay, so as most of y'all already know by now, Krishan and Blue are back together, and she moved back into his house a couple weeks ago with her son while he's serving time in jail. Since Krishan doesn't really have anybody around her to help her take care of Krishan Jr., Blue's dad, Jonathan, moved in with her back in January. They've All right, pause. That is such bull. That is such bull. Okay, first of all, where's Marsh, her her best friend, assistant, whatever? Where's she at? Where's all her friends and stuff that she just had around not that long ago? Where the fuck are they at? You got money? Hire some help. What about all the money you say you got? You you brag about to your fans, Krishan and everything else, talking about y'all jealous, y'all broke, this and that, get some money. Me and my dude own two houses. Honey, you don't even own a house. Number one, let's put it, let's keep it a buck, all right? And then number two, we don't even know if this is Blue's house. This might be Wack 100's house, or maybe, yeah, we don't know. But, and if it's not Wack's house, why does he have camera footage, allegedly? But yeah, I'm so, I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of her. I have no help. Yeah, you do. You got money. Go hire some fucking help. Like, quit it. Quit it. Quit it. All right. Faces placed together. A lot of people were here for this because they thought Jonathan was going to be a good influence on both Krishan and Junior since he hasn't been involved in any of the mess that's been going on these past couple of years. However, it looks like we were all dead wrong because he's just right. as unserious as the rest of them. So a couple days ago, Krishan decided mm -hmm. to hop on IG Live like she always does and revealed that she and Jonathan got robbed while they were alone in the house. She said that Jonathan was getting ready to go to work at 5 a.m. But when he walked up to his car, the tires were slashed and it looked like someone had intentionally messed with it. But the drama don't end there because Krishan also said while she and Jonathan were standing outside trying to figure out how the hell that even happened, some random guy walked out from a car parked right in front of their house and had a gun in his hands. Oh, never mind. He must have his tires fixed. Tell me why. Actually looked through the CCTV footage from that night and Ooh. 
nothing like that happened. It was a regular old night, and Jonathan's car was completely fine. He said, received the blue face house cameras, nobody was robbed or in the driveway. A clout move. All cap. Wack also posted a screenshot of a message that Carlissa had sent him back in December, telling him that Jonathan had gotten robbed in the front of his house. Wack captioned the post, Sometimes you gotta call a spade a spade. Clout is the new can't teach an old dog new tricks. Guess it's the go-to. Hashtag I got robbed. Hashtag stop capping. And mind you, this text was from December, and now all of a sudden the same exact thing is happening in March? Y'all, something ain't adding up. Now, as expected, Krishan was not gonna let this slide without saying something, and she got on Snapchat and basically accused Wack of lying about having CCTV footage. She said Wack was just coming for her because he didn't like her, and if he was really in possession of some footage like he claims, he would have posted it like he does everything else. In fact, you can also hear Jonathan in the background co-signing everything Krishan is saying. I don't even know why you're even getting yourself involved. You must be the f***ing sibling. You're two robbers. Check my ID to have Who the f***ing playbook is so f***ing? Bro, we got a kid, yo. All right, so how do they get into the gated neighborhood? It's a gated neighborhood. How do they get in? That's the question. How do they get in? Either they know someone there or they know the gate code. It's freaking ridiculous. Ask if we was gay. Do you need to send protection over there? You over there trying to act like... That's why nobody like y'all. Y'all over there. Since Blue got locked up, everybody been mad about who's in the house. Y'all don't like the flow and y'all like my job. So y'all sending weird people to the house. Okay, I got it. And, and, and it's funny because I usually don't really care when he be trolling. But well, that's that's real life. Like, really out front. Yeah. You, and you must have been in the room. But you just said he didn't come? Right. You're weird. For you to be like, oh, you got the video? You're weird. You don't got no video. You would have posted it. Like, you post everything else. Stop Now, I'm not going to lie. Krishan was kind right about this because we all know how wet gets damp sorry y'all commercial but yeah there's really no telling who's telling the truth but i don't have to say if there was a police report number it's one damp. and if he sorry. really had anything that proved Krishan was lying he definitely wouldn't waste no time posting it but baby him okay so i'm sorry i guess i'm gonna get this out real quick and let me get back to the video um where's the police report number one because almost all police reports are public record right or am I wrong? Sound off in the comments. Let me know. Um, two, where's the video footage? Where's the footage? And uh, number three, wouldn't this have been on the news? Because stuff like this happens and it'd be on the news. Like when Aaron Carter, you know, made his way to wherever he made his way to, it was on the news. So, I wasn't on the news if this really happened. Sound off in the comments. I can't be, I, I can't be, yeah, I just Anyways, can't. Krishan was not done just yet. She went on to claim that Wack was the one who sent the person over to the house because he hates her so much. It's crazy, because I'll leave the social media just to come back to more people with my name in their mouths. She then went on to directly address Wack by saying, it's crazy? Okay, sorry, really quick, I'm gonna get this out. She took a social media break for like a day, I think, or like two days, and then came right back. Like, girl, shut up, shut up. Like, you're so, oh my gosh, she's so full of it. She's so full of it. She believes her own lies. That's, that's how much she's full of it. You like for people to feel threatened and scared because you're capable of making me disappear. I don't give a F who you are, bro. You don't scare me. For real, I'm not scared of death or all that high power is you be on. If you want me gone, go ahead, off me. Go ahead and do it, because putting fear in my heart ain't doing ish. Saying you watch the footage and that I'm lying about people pulling up to the crib, sitting out from with weapons, and hold Blueface's dad at point. This ain't the first time you trying to get me out the way. It's sad, bro. This is wild. 
Krishan then jumped on Snapchat again to say that she's okay. already filed the police report. Krishan jumped right on Snapchat to say that she's already filed a police report. And she said she has the footage to prove that there was someone with a gun right in front of the house that night. And that three of her neighbors who also witnessed it happened are willing to testify. It's cool. I'm so glad. Um, blue face father, don't do the internet. And we don't really care about what you say, what? Because we know what happened to us. We're holding this footage and all that other sh and, and, and all our names, three neighbors, two across the street and one on the side of us, bro. They have footage. And they have their word. They, they saw, they watched that happen to us. And there's a police report. We're going to talk to the that actually lives here, that actually owns his house. His name is Jonathan Porter, Blueface Baby. Like, it's, it's not, it, this is some serious shit, bro. Like, we not doing no internet. She then went on to accuse Wack of lying again to try and take her out. She said she feels like Wack is the one responsible because he was the one who was quick to respond to it. And she knows that this is something that Wack is capable of doing since he don't even like her. We just like, for that, that we, we caught you on camera and we're more aware of it. And then for to respond, you must be the one that did it to us. Because you don't know, only that respond to what happened to us. And the way you responded, it's disgusting, bro. And it was at this point that Krishan started to get really emotional and even started crying while saying that Wack was trying to unalive her so he could use her for a documentary and make some money up off her. You know that one story? All right, pause. OMG, y'all. This girl is so full of it. She does this all the time. She'll <clears throat> she'll grasp at straws, whatever, to get attention or to get people like watching, right? And then she starts getting emotional, crying, pulling up people's heartstrings, like being emotionally manipulative, basically, in so many ways. Like I'm gonna just keep it real. Like she's playing this role and she's playing it good. I'm gonna just say that. Who's this girl? She had a stalker for real, right? And she kept like reporting it and reporting it and reporting it. And when she came up missing and dead, they did a whole documentary. So without that documentary, let me know. Yeah. Because
Y'all, so let's get into these final thoughts. What do you guys freaking think? All right, a part of me, I don't think it's real. I might just be real. I don't think it's real. Um, and uh, the commentator has a big point. Blue never backs up Krishan when it comes to WAC 100, ever. If anyone can find the clip, put it in the comments because your girl wants to find it. But I love that people on Twitter that's known now as X, which nobody likes. Everybody hates it, all right? They need to change it back. Um, they were just spitting facts. So, like, this is what she does. Number one, she pulls up people's heartstrings, emotionally manipulates, and causes drama to get attention. So, I honestly, I don't think it happened. I'm going to just keep it real. I don't think it happened. Let me know if you guys think it happened. If you think it happened, put it happened, dot, dot, dot. So, three dots. And then if you don't think it happened, says no. say no chance in hell. And then if you don't know, say who knows and who cares. <laughs> Those are the the three the three phrases. Let me know you meant at the end of the video. But yes, yeah, this is my Blitz Cali gang. Be back.